Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to wrap an elbow with an elastic bandage. Okay, so this is a four inch ace wrap. You can go to a larger size. There's six inch ace wraps and I would actually recommend it for someone his size because his arm is bigger. But we're just gonna use this four inch because that's what I have right now. So injuries often occur in this area here. Um, you can get strains, sprains. Often you'll have swelling around there. So you always wanna start wrapping from below the elbow in the forearm. Especially if there is swelling in the elbow, that will help move the fluid back up towards the heart into circulation. Okay, so you're gonna start below the elbow, wrap once around. This one has Velcro so you can secure it. But if your elastic bandage doesn't have a Velcro, you can wrap it twice around to anchor it in place. And then start wrapping upwards. And I like to do this figure eight method because it anchors the wrap in place and will prevent it from slipping down during the day. Okay, and so you're getting this nice crisscross figure eight pattern. Then you go back up and then come back down. And up, and it's about a 50% overlap the whole way. And you can just bring it around and secure it in place. So how does that feel? Feels good. Okay, so after you apply the wrap, you want to check the pulse, make sure you can still feel a good pulse. Make sure the skin is a nice warm temperature, there's no discoloration, so it's nice and pink. Do you have any numbness or tingling? So those are all good signs that it is applied correctly. If you are having any of those symptoms, you want to take the wrap off and rewrap it more loosely. All right, so that's a quick demonstration on how to apply an elastic bandage to the elbow. So you can also use the elastic bandage with a sling. You just wanna bring the arm up to the level of the heart and secure the elbow in that position if the patient is able to bend it. And that will also help reduce swelling because when the arm is hanging, fluid tends to collect in the lower extremity. All right guys, so if this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.